and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog. There's many reasons that you might want to add a form to your Facebook page. You might need people to sign up for your group or your institution. You might want to send out something in the post to people, so you need to collect the addresses. Or you might want to do a quick survey. A fantastic tool for doing this is Google Docs in association with a Facebook tab creation tool like Woobox. And I'm going to show you how to do that this week. So to start with, you'll need a Google account. So you'll need to sign up for a Gmail account or a Google account. You need to sign in and go to www.google.com forward slash docs. So when you arrive into Google Docs, on the left hand side, click on create and choose form from the drop down menu. And now you can start adding your details. So first you need to give it a title. Then you might want to add a little bit of information. So why are people filling in this form? Now you can start asking questions. So the first question I'm going to ask is for somebody's name. If it's a complicated question, you might want to write a little bit of text telling people how to fill it in. So for example, Now you can choose your question type. So I'm just going to leave it for text, but you can choose paragraph text, multiple choice questions, check boxes from a list, a scale or a grid. So there's a lot of different question types you can choose from. If you need it to be a required field, so if people need to complete this piece of information, it's essential to what you need, you can click this box here and then click done. If you hover your mouse over sample question two, you'll see there's a little pencil at the side. You can click onto that and it's exactly the same process. This time I'm going to go for check boxes and give the options yes and no for liking cats. To add a third question, click on add item at the top of the page and here you can choose what sort of question it is that you want to add. And you continue until you've completed all the fields that you want to. Once you've finished, click on more actions here on the top right hand side and click on edit confirmation. And here's your chance to say thank you to the people who filled in the form. And click on save. Now to embed it onto Facebook. The first thing you need to do is click on more actions and embed. And here you're given the embed code for Facebook. But before we add that to Facebook, we need to add an application. So click into Facebook. And here in the top bar, you want to search for Woobox, W-O-O-B-O-X. And click on Woobox custom tab app. Now you can choose what sort of symbol you want to appear on the tab on the left hand side for your application. So I'm going to go with a push pin because I think it's kind of cute. Next it asks you what page that you want to install the application to. So I'm going to look for my test page. And click add static iframe tab and next to that will be the name of the icon that you chose at the beginning. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, I already have a number of applications added here, but if I click on more, I should be able to find my new pin. And here it is. 
The next step is to authorise the tab application. Now next go back into your Google Doc and you need to copy this embed code and you can paste that into this box on Woobox. If we leave it at the width of 760 wide that's going to be far too wide for Facebook. The maximum width for a Facebook page is 520 pixels but it would be nice to leave a bit of space either side so we'll just go for 500. At the bottom here you can change the name of your tab so I'm going to put in survey. Once you've done that click save settings. Because we've changed the name of the tab, we need to grant some extra permissions to the page. And then let's have a look at it. Click on View Tab, and there's our form. There's lots of other bits and pieces you can do with Woobox as well. You can add your own text without the need of knowing any HTML code, and you can also add images. So it's worth playing around with a bit. The best thing I think for me about adding Google Docs to your Facebook page this way is if you ever want to edit it you can simply go back into Google Docs, you can go back into the test form and this brings you to the responses you will have received. To edit the form if you click on form here and click edit form you can work away and you can change any of the information that you've got here. Click on save. If we go back into our Facebook test page and refresh. Click on view tab. And you'll see that the information has automatically changed on our Facebook page. So if I've inspired you to create a form for your Facebook page, I'd love to see them. So do leave your links underneath this video. And that's all for me for this week. I'll be back next week, but in the meantime, don't forget to like spiderworking.com on Facebook, where I share lots of hints and tips on using social media for small business. Until next week, bye.